So here we have is Megan Grady's sketchbook. So her brand is called Diaz, which the meaning is a French term, a female spirit that is believed to have a higher power over parts of the world. The reason I chose this name was because I wanted to create a women's brand which empower each other. Um, and I just wanted them to feel strong and like powerful in what they were. So um, yeah, it links well within within the brand concept. So when I started to play about with um, my brand logo, I wanted two different types. So I wanted the full name, which is highlighted there, and I wanted a shortened down version, which would be like embroidered onto the clothing, just like mix things up a little bit. So yeah, I did go with them too in the end. In here, I was playing about with vinyl just being put on some fabric just to see what the look would look like. Obviously these are too big but um, I just wanted to get like a close up version of what it would look like. In the end I didn't go ahead with um, this onto the, onto the garment but I did like the look of it. So yeah just playing about. I did do some laser cut outs as well. But obviously if the D was cut it cut out it just wouldn't work as well. So we should do some samples. Just playing about with the logo, how it would look like on the fabric. Different designs. But yeah, overall they're the two main best ones I've went with. So my brand concept is all about being inspired by city, um, people within there, the culture, um, just everything within like. So the brand years is all about empowering the women and being inspired by the culture and the people within cities. Um, this collection is inspired by the city New York. Um, we wanted to do a little twist where it was inspired by the 90s. Um, urban hip hop bringing music into it because every day like music is a big part of people's every day so obviously with me as well like I'm very influenced by music so I just wanted to like mix the fashion fashion world and the music world together and then look into certain aspects and like aspects of both of them. Um so I did look into the nineties and then I watched a movie called they get down and some inspiration has came from there as well. So here we have the mood board. Some images taken from the movie they get down. Obviously some street style stuff there as well and just like the DJ sets. This is my colour board. Obviously the gold chips were on the other page. So here is my digital um, fabric board. I've also made a large board as well where you can see the physical fabrics. But this is labelling what they are. This is my customer board. A young graduate from London. She loves it if lifestyle and just buying design and stuff and treating herself when she can. So this is my brand swatch. Just looking further into what the brand's about, the strengths, weaknesses. So I visited London Fashion Week this year as well. Got some inspiration from there. It was very mixed with um, like formal gowns and a little bit of streetwear and stuff. So it was quite helpful. Looking at Paris Fashion Week as well. In New York, so just obviously getting the inspiration from different cities that's out there. So I also looked into jackets, getting some inspiration from like the details of zips in the pockets and everything like that, the trousers. So here we have the jacket I made for semester. In this semester I completely changed the whole look of it, the colour and everything. Just because when I was designing this, the way it dropped on the body just wasn't how I wanted it to. So I completely scrapped that idea and went for something different. So I did a bit of um, 70s 
silhouette shape and again here just to inspire what we go for so here we have the designing development i was trying to figure out what look i wanted to go for for the collection so it's very street style This collection is all about um, the sort of fitting the body in a nice, comfortable way, but also feeling like, empowered in your own skin, sort of thing. So it was like abstract shapes with like certain cut cutouts around the body, and it was just a mixture of like different types of tops, different body wears. So obviously mixing like the cross that fits with the jumpsuits at the same time. Then we have some trouser designs. A big aesthetic throughout this collection this semester is wide fit trousers. We also have some mini skirts in this collection as well. Here we have the development of the two-piece track set. So a lot of design work did go into this to find the, uh, the shape of the front. So obviously with the design I wanted a V-shaped low front. Because um, in the 90s on trend was like the low rise jeans and stuff like that. So I thought I wanted to bring that back but keep the back risen so it was just more like the front which was low down. There's different design developments and obviously the curve seams are both on the jacket and the trousers so I was playing about with where it would look best on both of them. And then I was working out if I wanted the trousers to be tight and wide fit. And then in the end this is the pattern design I went for. So this is some samples of the ribbed wall I was making for the cuffs. So I see the plain design in the speckled orange. And I did end up going for this one. So I was also sampling pockets as well, different sizes. So I originally tried out the sp sporty look with the stretch top, but it just didn't work with the fabric at all. And obviously I was just playing around with the little small sizes. I originally went for this and just a um, patch pocket, full, full square look. So I was playing about in some colours, which design could come in. And these are the pattern blocks and how I put them together. This did a little process sheet there. This is the overall collection look.
these are the spec sheets with the details on. Outlined in the main part of the garments. And obviously it's got the main details and slicing on the sides, the colours at the bottom and what collection it is at the top. So in the sketchbook is some of the city research um, of some of the designers I was doing. Looking into the city of New York, New York as well, some of the sculptures and buildings within there. Just played a lot with fish eggs. Yeah. This goes in uh, the back around, which blend is about, has coming up. This comes into the customer. Just a little um, collage here, just of words I thought represent the brand as a whole. And this is the customer I chose from Instagram. So here we have sketchbook number two. So for promotion I wanted to make a pair of sunglasses and a case to protect them and just come as packaging. So here's some quick sketches, just of the cases, just get some ideas to start with. How I could play about with the logo, but obviously it would be the digital version of it. So inspiration for this came about from vintage design sunglasses. And I feel like it, it does make the look. And especially for the two pieces I made, it, it went well with what I made some more research there. So here we have the frames I made, I designed. So I originally made five pieces. They come in different colour ways. Just some more sketches of the sunglasses I made. motion these are the tags some PR boxes the digital copy of the case I made so this is the final outcome of the promotion so it's a small pouch which fits the sunglasses and this is the tags so here we have it's a photo from the shoot but this came in the PR box, which also is a little thank you card to the customers. We have some inspiration going towards the shoot. This is screenshots from the website I've made. So I wanted it to be like an online lookbook where people could go on there, see the upcoming shoots they've just done, and um, we're about to do, and um, the upcoming collection, stuff like that. So 
yeah, a mini lookbook. And it, um, at the bottom of the website as well, it shows like the video I've created, and the link will be added. So this is the pop shop, and um, the pop shop is going to be bringing fashion and music together, having like a little mini arcades game there, but obviously like a more modern version, bringing back the dance revolution. So obviously the customers would have to wear a stopwatch and have a chance of like winning a voucher for towards a new collection. And this is just our expansion plans here. This is what we need to expect in the future. And from the shoot, these are the contact sheets. Very colourful, very visual shoot. So these are the samples which was first made of the sunglasses. Obviously I've still got the um, white protection on which you peel that off. So I made two pairs which are covered in blue and clear. I've got the sheet here where I was working out the size and how to fit the um, person's face. And obviously you can see from the shoot that the overall look came together quite well.